How to get the original price? Good day, students. Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to solve the original price in a percent problem such as discount and markup. Let us begin! Let's try our first example. Lay a bought address mark at a 20% discount. If the discount was 90 pesos, what was the original price of the dress? Hmm. But what is original price? Original price or amount is the amount or price before reductions or additional amount were made. Now let's go back and solve our problem. As we can see, this is an example of discount problem. To solve for the original price in the discount problem, we just simply need to divide the discount by the discount rate. Here, the discount is 90 pesos, while the discount rate is 20%. Therefore, we need to divide 90 pesos by 20%. But before we can divide this, we need to change the percent into decimal. To change the percent into decimal, change the percent sign into decimal point, and then move it two times to the left. There, now we have 90 divided by 0.20. Now let's divide. Remember, before we can divide decimals, we need to make sure that the divisor is the whole number. Let us move the decimal point to the most right. There you go. Since we move two times in the divisor, we also need to move the decimal point in the dividend two times to the right. One, two. And let's put zeros to the empty place values. There you go. Now let us divide 9,000 by 20. There! Now our answer is 450. This means that the original price of the dress was 450 pesos. Great job! Now let's try another one. Leia bought the dress, mark a 20% discount. If he bought the dress at a sale price of 360 pesos, what was the original price of the dress? Still, we have a discount problem, but this time, we only have the discount rate and the sale price as the given. To solve for the original price, we just simply need to divide the sale price by 100 minus the discount rate. Here, the sale price is 360 divided by 100% minus the discount rate which is 20%. So that is 100% minus 20% which is 80%. Now before we can divide this one, we need to change the percent into decimal.
There you go. Now let us divide 360 by 0 0.80. Again, we need to make sure that the divisor should be a whole number. So let us move to decimal point. Since we move two times to the right in the divisor, we will also move two times in the division. Let us count. One, two. And don't forget to put zeros. There you go. Now let us divide 36,000 by 80. There you go! Now our final answer is 450 pesos. Great job! Now let's take a look at this example. In a clothing store, the owner adds up a markup of 15% on blouses. If the markup price of blouse is 10 pesos and 50 centavos, what was the original price? Hmm. This is an example of a markup problem. To solve for the original price in a markup problem, we just simply need to divide markup price by the markup rate. Here, the markup price is 10.50, while the markup rate is 15 percent again before we can divide this let us change the percent into decimal there now let us divide 10.50 by 0.15 again before we can divide this one we need to make sure that the divisor is the whole number. So let us move to the decimal point. Since we move two times here, let us move two times in the dividend. There you go. Now let us divide 1050 by 15. Our final answer is 70 pesos. This means that the original price of the blouses was 70 pesos. Wonderful! Now let's have our final example. This is just the same problem, but a different given. In a clothing store, the owner adds up a markup of 15% on blouses. If the selling price of a blouse is 80 pesos and 50 centavos, what was the original price? You are right. The given are different. The given here are the markup rate and the selling price. To solve for the original price, we just simply need to divide the selling price by 100% plus the markup rate. Here, the selling price is 80.50 over 100% plus the markup rate which is 15% so that is 100% plus 15% which is 
115%. Now, before we can divide this, again, we need to change the percent into decimal. Let us move the decimal point two times to the left. Now we have 1.15. Now let's divide. 80.50 divided by 1.15. Again, before we can divide this, don't forget to make the divisor as a whole number. So let us move the decimal point. Since we moved two times in the divisor, let us move two times as well in the dividend. Now it's dividing time. 8050 divided by 115. Now our final answer is 70 pesos. This means that the original price was 70 pesos. Awesome! Now great job students, you made it! Here are the things that you learned today.